Hey YouTube, it's Tar the Antenna Man, here to give a few tips on how to improve your reception if you have no other choice but to use an indoor TV antenna. Maybe you live in an apartment complex or you just don't have access to install a TV antenna on the roof. I can completely relate to this. Back when I was in college, I didn't have access to install a TV antenna on the roof either, but there were a few things that I did to make sure that I could receive as many stations as possible using an indoor antenna. The first step I have, and probably the most important, is to make sure you're using a decent indoor antenna model. I see too many people with this model, and I'm sure many of you are tired of me saying it in all my videos, don't buy this model. It's junk, it does not work well. I've tested alongside other indoor antenna models that were able to pick up TV stations when this one couldn't. So if you have this model, I'd recommend replacing it with either the Clearstream 2 Max or Mohu Supreme Pro. The Mohu Supreme Pro model would probably be best for those of you that are looking for a low profile indoor antenna. It works pretty well, but keep in mind the Clearstream 2 Max works a little bit better, but the Clearstream 2 Max can't really be hung on the wall because it's a little bit bigger, although it performs a little bit better. You can find the links to both of these antenna models in the description of this video. Once you're sure you have a decent antenna model that will pick up TV signals that aren't penetrating through your building material that well, the next thing you want to make sure to do is that the antenna is placed on a wall or near a window that faces the direction of the broadcast towers. If you go to antennaweb.org and type in your address, it should provide a list of TV stations that can be picked up in your area, and it will also give you a direction on where to point the antenna. If you see more than one direction, just kind of play around with the antenna and see where most of your major market stations are coming from. I find that most ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox stations come from a single direction. You might have some random independent or religious station that comes from another direction. You definitely want to focus in on the major TV stations. Now don't freak out if you don't see all of your favorite TV channels on the antennaweb.org list. It tends to underestimate the amount of TV channels that can be received. Just kind of use as a reference for the direction of the TV channels and what frequency they broadcast on. Now let's say you have a decent indoor antenna model, you have it near a wall or a window in the direction of the broadcast towers, and you have it pointed in the correct direction. If you're still experiencing some issues on certain TV channels, you will probably have to move the antenna around. It's very rare that one random spot you place the antenna in is going to be optimal spot for reception of all the TV signals in your area. For me, there is one specific spot and it took me about an hour to find out where it is. One specific spot where I'm able to lock in all the TV channels in my market. So there's a good chance you'll probably have to play around with the antenna a little bit, but doing so will likely help you find the sweet spot. If you still experience reception issues, another option that might improve your TV signal is to put the antenna out the window using a flat coaxial cable. This is something I had to do firsthand a few years ago. I was trying to get the TV signals inside, but no matter where I tried placing the antenna, the building material in the house just completely destroyed the really weak TV stations about 40 miles away from me. So I just put the antenna outside the window and the stations immediately came in because TV signals do not do a good job penetrating and through building material. If you follow all these tips, there's a good chance you'll finally be able to lock in those one or two TV stations that are very problematic with the current antenna you're using, but at the very least, it will definitely improve your TV reception that you have now. If you're in the situation where you have a homeowners association that's saying you can't mount a TV antenna outside, there's actually a federal law that prohibits restrictions on outdoor antennas, even by local HOAs, as long as the antenna is less than one meter long. I included a link in the description to this law, and I highly encourage you to challenge your local HOA if they're restricting your use of an outdoor antenna. Now, if you're in the scenario where you are physically able to mount an outdoor antenna, you've just been reluctant to do it because you want to try an indoor model first, I highly recommend doing so. TV signals don't penetrate through building material that well, and having an outdoor antenna will greatly improve your TV reception. I include a few links in the description of this video to some outdoor antennas I recommend, and you can also check out some videos on my channel. Thanks again for watching, and have an awesome day.